What up everyone, I'm Ken Sapale. Welcome to stackedbmx.com's YouTube channel. Today I'm doing an explain and review on the 29 inch Haro Flatline 2 complete bike. So like always, I'm gonna tell you if this bike fits you all the way to what sets this bike apart from all the other bikes. So yeah, let's get to it. Let's start from the front end, work our way to the back. So starting off with the grips, I noticed they got the Har Haro Chevron Chevron grips on here. They're nice and soft. Uh, they got a little bit different pattern, patterns, like a rib pattern, um, kind of like a square pattern on here. So it gives you a lot of grip, but also is really, really soft. Um, this bike comes with the eight speed, uh, eight speed in the back, three speed in the front. Um, the back cog, oh man, I already forgot this one. It is a 1232. So a 12 on the smallest, 32 on the largest um, on here. And then on the front is a 24 and a uh, 42 tooth in the front. So three rings in the front, one in the back. Um, so three on the left side. And uh, if you're not too sure about shifting gears or you have a mountain bike and you have, you're always having troubles, Best thing to do is stay in the second gear on the left side, which is the middle chain ring, and then you can run through all the gears in the back. That usually helps you figure out how these gears are working, and it's just like your car. You start off on first gear, and you go all the way up to eight, eight being the fastest. Um, but when you're going downhill, you always want to ghost pedal and shift back into first gear. So when you take off, you're taking off in first gear. Same thing like a car, you're pushing the clutch, you shift all the way to zero, put it in neutral, but you always take off in first gear. But the bicycles uh, need to be pedaled in order to change the gears. It's almost in a sense the clutch system. So when you hit the clutch, you're actually pedaling. It allows you to change the gears. When you don't, what it does is it stretches the cables. It makes your derailleurs go out of whack. It causes a lot of wear and tear on your chain as well as your sprockets. And it just damages your bike and costs you a lot more money rather than just shifting smoothly and following the way that you want to shift. Once you learn how to do that and you're super solid on that, once you start changing the first, second, and third, you'll instantly know and you'll be like, hey, completely in the wrong one. One is not fun going, going downhill. Three is not fun taking off. So you learn really fast, makes it real easy. Uh, these things come with pivot bars. These bars are extra wide. So if you're looking for a big wide bar, these are perfect. These come with a 31.8 clamp along with the pivot stem as well. This one's a shorter stem based on the size frame you get is going to be based off the stem that you receive. So look at the specs on our website so you can see what stem is going to come with that if that's a big factor for you. Uh, th uh, these frames come with, uh, shoot, I believe they're called uh, integrated headset, well, inter internal headset. Uh, a lot of the BMX guys have been using these. I'm not not too sure about them. I haven't used them too much, but internal headset, a little bit different. Um, supposed to work great. Haven't seen too many problems with it, so it could work great. Uh, on the forks, these come with the XCE28 Suntour forks. These forks have 100 millimeters of travel on it. Um, it's spring-based, so uh, you might want to upgrade in the future, but if you're looking for an introductory bike, this is a great place to start without killing the bank figuring out if you like suspension forks, and then from there you can figure out if you want an air fork or a spring fork or where, which direction you want to go in. Um, so great starter. Uh, this, this bike also comes uh, with this alloy front wheel, has stainless steel spokes, alloy front hub with quick release. Uh, this front hub appears, it is unsealed front hub, but it's quick release, and it's also disc compatible. So it has 160, millimeter rotor, it looks like one. Yeah, 160 millimeter rotor on it. Uh, it has mechanical pull uh, disc brakes on it. So if you're trying to add hydraulic, you can simply swap out the lever and the, the actual brake. You're probably gonna get a little bit more because the shifter is integrated, but uh, you can swap out the brake to a hydraulic brake, no problem. Um, same thing on the back, uh, has uh, cable pull uh, 160 rotor on the back as well. What I noticed about this frame, it has uh, internal routed cables, so th they come in and out right here, so it looks pretty sleek and, and dope. Uh, the front tires are, uh, oh man, I think this 
This is the one I didn't check up on, to be honest with you. Uh, it looks like just a pretty generic tire. Um, like a cross-country style tire. I don't see an actual brand on it, to be honest with you. They might have, might have put these on here just for... Looks like a Kenda base tire. Looks like a pretty good tire. Good cross country. If you're riding on fire roads, stuff like that. Looks like a great tire. We we sell a similar tire here. We sell a bunch of them. Uh, we're great for uh, clay terrain, hard packed areas. Um, even when you get in the soft stuff, it work, works pretty well. Uh, for California and stuff like that, the dirt just works amazing. Uh, going out to the frame, it's a 6061 aluminum frame. Uh, this thing, it has kind of like a pyramid square style down tube uh the top tube is kind of a triangular uh style top tube and it comes down and it has a lot of gussets and weld area where it's all welded together it looks pretty heavy duty uh i like the the rear chain stay of the frame kind of swoops down and uh just looks a little bit different and uh i don't know just the dropout's very small i kind of like that uh it's got basic plastic pedals nylon pedal so something great to start on. We've got Nura on there. If you're just looking for something to start off on, I think this is great. Uh, it's got basic turning, uh, Shimano turning derailers on the back, as well with the shifters as well. Um, yeah, disc brake on the rear as well. It's got a double wall alloy wheel front and back. Uh, it's got a Haro flatline seat on here and aluminum seat post and a quick release seat clamp. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. These bikes are available in flat black or red at the moment. If you see one of them, support Stack BMX. Hope you like this bike, hope you like this review. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a good